I'm Kevin Francis, and you're watching Dark Star Astro. Hello, I'm Kevin Francis and welcome to my YouTube channel. What you saw earlier was a project that I took on to use a USB camera with a 3D printed mount as a polar alignment camera. This was a fun project and if you stick around, I think you'll like what I did. Okay, so let's start with a quick view of the mount itself so you understand what I'm working on. So this is the Orion AstroView mount and if I zoom in here, a little bit see what we're talking about here so there's a shaft all right that holds the counterweights and that goes all the way up into this uh, part of the mount and here is where i'm going to design a uh, holder to install this camera that i'm looking to purchase so um, this is what i'm working with right i didn't buy the the mount that uh, most people buy that are uh, automated and can uh, do a lot of the things that you want automatically and I'm just wanted to get started and see how I can do with this hobby and see what other things I can do to make this hobby better for myself I did add a motor to it so I've got the right ascension uh, tracking with this mount as well for my photos okay so let's focus this is the project we're going to work on that there and so first thing I needed to do was find a camera so I went to Amazon and as you can see, there are a ton of different types of cameras that you can buy. But I was looking for something that I can design around. Um, all of these can find stars at night with the right settings. But I, I need something that's simple um, enough for me to design around. And what I came across was this camera right here. It's $58. It's got a nice square body in the, on the rear. Um, it's got a wire that hangs off the back. You can see here are these the dimensions for it as well. So these are things that I can work with. I can design around this, and I can actually make this fit that mount. Yes, it's uh, taking a square peg and putting it in a round hole. So what I did to do that, I created a holder. Uh, this is a website called Tinkercad, and I basically took material like that and made shapes out of it um, using this software. They've got really good tutorials here. So if you join this uh, website, which is free, uh, you watch the tutorials and you can uh, actually do a lot of great things with those tutorials, they're good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take it apart. This is a copy, so I'm gonna fully take this apart and show you all the, the number of different pieces that I had to put together in order to make this shape and they're all showing up these gray pieces are uh, what we call what is called holes all right so it's basically removing material from the the bottom shape of this okay in order to get to that the end point and some of what you're seeing show up there we go so i started off with this red piece and I put a cylinder in the top of it that is the same size as that uh, shaft that's inside of the mount. Then I also created this orange piece here in the middle and I attached the two together. This orange piece is designed to fit directly into the round hole of the uh, mount. And I had to take measurements of the distance between here and the end of the mount uh, in order to get this distance here for the for the, for this holder okay then I had to create channels for the wires which are these pieces here on the side all right that are angled and oval so first I had to create the body so I created the body out of a large cylinder then went ahead and created these two things there underneath I added a big square 
actually is to the dimensions of the camera itself uh, <clears throat> on the bottom. So basically it's a cutout and it allows for the camera to fit. And then I also decided to, from there, I needed to start putting together uh, the holes for the thumb screws. And so I created these two rectangles on the side to flatten out the surface for the thumb screws. Okay. And in doing that, I was then able to put the hole going across both sides. Okay. And so in the end, you end up with this. Okay. And this is what I 3D printed. All right. So now we're going to prepare the file for printing. And we're going to use what's called slicing software. And this is uh, Cura by Ultimaker. Uh, but you could also use appropriately named astroprint.com, which is a cloud print uh, slicing software package. And you can do that for free and get your print set up for your 3D printer or send it off to someone for them to print. So here what I'm doing is basically just getting all the settings correct. And then I'm going to save this file for the specific printer that I'm going to use to print this which you'll see here in a minute. As you can see, it takes four hours and eight minutes based on the slicing software to print this entire thing. It's going to be printing for a while. So we'll set it, let it go, and we'll test it out later. So $70 later, a little bit of sweat equity and some 3D printing, and I've now got a polar alignment camera on my telescope. Look at it again. All right, so I've gone through the process now, having uh, set up the camera to where I could actually find Polaris and the other stars in the neighborhood. And SharpCap turned it on follow his directions and I got a pretty good uh, alignment there as you can see I'm between good and excellent so I think I'm in uh, good shape I've got a, a pretty good idea now of how to do this it took me a little while this is my first time doing it so um, but even a little while was about 30 minutes of plug and play trying to figure it out and next time I do this it won't take this long at all so maybe five, 10 minutes at the most uh, to get myself polar lined and, and off capturing photos of something in the night sky. So I think tonight I'm gonna go out to Bode's Galaxy, maybe the Cigar Galaxy next door and uh, see what comes out of it. But I'm pretty happy with what I see for a polar alignment. The effort was not so big. Um, I didn't have to do a lot of bending or um, getting on my knees or anything like that. So that worked out great. And uh, the camera, the camera is awesome. Uh, again, it was what, 50, 60 bucks on uh, Amazon. Um, and the 3D printed piece is no more than $2. So you know, I'm not spending a lot of money here. And I got myself a polar alignment camera.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. This was fun. I had uh, enjoyed every moment of making this video and I look forward to doing a lot more for you. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit that bell. And I look forward to seeing you next time when I'm gonna talk about that Orion Astroview telescope that I have mounted to uh, that mount. Um, they didn't design it or develop it for astrophotography, but I made it work. We'll talk about how I did that in the next video. So thanks again, keep looking up, and remember, the sky's the limit when your mind is unwilling to fly.